Dweebcast. Hey guys, I'm Andy Reesmeyer. This is Dweebcast. So outer space, for millennia, man has stared into the blackness of night, searching for answers to cosmic questions about what's out there, where we came from, and most of all, where we're going. But for all we don't know, we do know a few astonishing things. Here are five incredible things about outer space. In the vacuum of space, it is possible for similar metals to fuse together when they come in contact with each other. Yeah, it's cool. This phenomenon called cold welding was discovered in the 1940s. Physicists over at Caltech say the molecules in the vacuum don't know which piece of metal they're originally from, so you know, they just bond. So why isn't it a problem for space stations, astronauts, and satellites? Well, the metal has to be super clean, uncoated, and uncontaminated, and unless you create a controlled situation, it probably ain't gonna happen. Did you know that the Russians have sent spacecraft to Venus? Yeah, they landed there 10 times actually. Starting in the 1970s, the Venera probes, I know that kind of sounds like a disease you'd catch in a Burger King bathroom, flew over to Venus, landed, and took some pics. Life was rough for the Venera. The first one to land, Venera 8, succumbed to the temperatures of almost 900 degrees Fahrenheit, only surviving for about 25 minutes, but you know, it's something. If someday we're able to casually travel the interstellar realm, then no doubt eventually, there'll be a demand for casually drinking our way through it, because second only to our human need for advancement and exploration is our need to get f***ed up. Perhaps the best place to begin would be in Sagittarius B, a giant molecular cloud filled with one billion, billion, billion liters of vinyl alcohol, like an outer space frat house. Unlike the frat house, you can't drink the stuff, but it's all about atmosphere. Ah! <laughs> So you want to terraform and start a brand new colony on Mars or some other godforsaken planet out there? Well, unless you want a bunch of three-armed, one-eyed children, you're going to need to bring a bunch of people. Geneticists say you need to bring at least 160 people with you if you're interested in propagating from a diverse gene pool. 80 dudes, 80 ladies should give you a decent chance of survival. You go with less and the chances of inbreeding colonists go up and the chances they'll survive goes way down. Of course, the whole inbreeding thing might not be a big deal to you, and if that's the case, let's be honest, you're not gonna be on the short list to populate a distant planet anyway, which is probably a good thing. Truth is, we know more about what dark matter is not than what it actually is. It's this thing that neither absorbs nor emits light, but we know it's there because it's exerting a tremendous gravitational force on things around it. So much of it. How much of it is there in the universe? Well, we got 5% ordinary matter, that's your planets and stars and stuff, then 26% dark matter, and then the last 65% is made up of what's called dark energy, which is a form of energy scientists think is the reason the universe is expanding at a rapid rate. But we have no idea what it actually is. It's crazy. Do you making the Twitters? Follow the Dweebcasts at Dweebcast. I uh, got breaking news about Dweeb stuff and videos and pictures. Do it. And now it's time for our weekly giveaway brought to you by the good people over at Logitech. We're giving away this Harmony Ultimate. It's a super remote that lets you control everything in your entertainment system and lets you hide them unsightly boxes with Bluetooth connectivity. It works with the Xbox, PlayStation, cable boxes, Blu-ray players, even smart lights. To win, all you gotta do is tweet us your favorite thing about space at Dweebcast. We'll get it right to you. Yeah, your favorite thing. I don't know, space shuttle, telescope, Mars, Alpha Centauri, whatever. That'll about do it for us today. Subscribe to our channel for more awesome dweeby videos every day of the week. I'm Andy Reesmeyer on behalf of dweebs everywhere. Good night, America. Dweebcast.